Boom sugar look ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters around the world. It is your boy Chris Shule, aka the Esoteric Noetic, aka the Chocolate Nubian Soul Brother. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, click on the bell, tell your friend, tell your mom, drop some comments, let us know what it is. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, yesterday my new toy came in the mail. I got myself a V11 in motion electric unicycle, and I have been practicing on this thing for the last hour and a half. It's this thing over here. Give you guys a look. And I gotta tell you, this thing is so difficult to use. I mean, I got this thing after watching some videos on YouTube and I'm like, whoa, this looks pretty easy. Seems super convenient, way better than a Segway. And I'm like, I gotta get myself this thing. The chocolate Nubian has gotta get himself an electric unicycle. But no one told me that this thing would be a menace to ride. Now, I've been told you can pick this thing up in an hour. And I guess it depends on what kind of skill level you have. I'm guessing if you're a skateboarder or someone that goes skiing, this thing may be a walk in the park for you. Now, obviously I can ride a bike and I've been using a Segway, but I don't have any extreme balancing skills. Definitely never ridden a unicycle before. And where is this thing has this uh, uh, technology that automatically balances you and only balances you, keeps stable vertically. Horizontally, on the other hand, you have to stabilize yourself. So it is actually very tricky trying to ride this thing if you are a novice. And I gotta tell you guys, like, where is this thing? It is very cool, it's very portable. You can get up to 50, 50 kilometers an hour from what I understand. It is a, a real challenge if you were new to uh, any kind of um, unicycle. And I, as I mentioned, I've been practicing this thing for going on two hours now, and I don't feel any closer to be able to go freely. I mean, at the moment, I'm just using the uh, handles on this, uh, this fence here, as you can see, and oh, I haven't even been able to make 10 seconds yet alone. I mean, as you can see, I'm making some kind of progress. I guess the trickiest thing is just feeling as if you're gonna fall, you know? I mean, I'm trying to remember the first time I was riding a bike and that feeling only lasted a short while. But with this thing here, it's just a completely different experience. Like, it's weird trying to find your center of balance. It's almost like tightrope walking. I mean, it's not, obviously it's not as difficult as that, but it really feels as if it's a completely different experience. It's not like riding a bike, guys. Um, look, maybe it's just me. I mean, granted, this is the second day, going on my second hour or so, and we'll see how I progress, but it's definitely not something you're just gonna pick up and know how to ride unless you're a pro, unless you're one of these circus freaks or a extreme sports character. But for myself, I am feeling like an absolute noob right now. The chocolate noob has become a total noob. And uh, we'll see how I go. I'm gonna give it my first try for the camera, seeing if I can hit 10 seconds. And I'm about 90% certain that's not gonna work. Let's see how we go. All right. Yep. Be careful. At least this thing gives you a warning when you're about to crash. But here it is the V11 in motion. And uh, look, I'll give you guys a quick run through of this thing. Um, it's got its own kickstand, which is pretty cool. Which allows you to, uh, let's, uh, let's turn this thing off. You gotta turn it off before you can balance this thing in the uh, kickstand mode. It's still pretty difficult to stabilize though, as it's on grass. Now, as I have not really had a full experience of this thing, it's kind of hard to give a re review. But as I mentioned, it's my second hour and it is it is super challenging, guys. I gotta tell you, this thing is, um, is nowhere near as easy as I thought it would be. It looks easy when you see a pro doing it, but for myself, I am struggling. So any tips you guys can give me would be greatly appreciated. 
but right now I'm feeling like um, I don't know if I'm happy with my purchase uh, but like with anything when you first start it's always difficult I started playing the guitar a couple of years ago and that was super challenging and now I'm just flying through it my second year after giving it a lot of hours but this thing I don't know it feels like it's really hard to make progress when you are not familiar with uh, unicycles. Anyway, I will keep you guys posted, let you know how I go. Hopefully in a week's time, I might be able to get some hang time, like 30 seconds or so, or I'm hoping a lot more, but it's definitely not uh, the safest thing to be using if you're a noob. Ladies and gentlemen, freaks and geeks, brothers and sisters around the world, it is your boy Chris Shule, AKA the esoteric noetic. Peace out, keep it real. Don't drive in text. Ow! What is liberty? What the? Who says you can't build <laughs> muscle on a vegan diet? What's it like being a, a hottie in the vegan community? <laughs> there are no political solutions, only technological ones. The economics of the system don't allow multiple competing systems to survive. Engineering, technology, these arts of humanity, they are magic.